Hello everybody. Today in this video I will play a little bit with some zinc bromide type of battery. I will make some zinc bromide battery which is almost identical to some zinc bromide gravity type of battery. So some gravity type of battery have the housing like this, some jar or something similar. So on the bottom you have the positive electrode and on the top you have the negative electrode and everything is filled with some zinc bromide electrode and when this gravity type of battery is charged on the bottom will start to form some bromide and on the negative electrode will start to collect some zinc and this is some simple and basic cell construction of some zinc bromide gravity battery but today I will a little bit change the construction of some basic uh, zinc bromide gravity cell. So for the housing I will use this cup. The negative electrode is of course some zinc. And for the positive electrode I use some graphite plate. And the electrolyte which I will use is some two more of zinc bromide. But, I will not just put the electrolyte uh, in this cup like so. Because I will use some material which will hold this, this electrolyte in place. And will be a little bit more safer like just normal uh, zinc bromide gravity battery. Which have some liquid form of electrolyte. And this material is this, sand. So this cup I will fill with just normal sand. And this sand will soak this electrolyte and the entire electrolyte will sit in place. And that's it. So I fill this cup with this sand and now and now I will fill also this cup with two mole of zinc bromide. And you see how the sand soak this electrolyte. So this way you will get a little bit more safer uh, zinc bromide cell. So you see the electrolyte will sit in place and now I will put some negative electrode into this cell like so and the positive and you get really nice and quite safe zinc bromide battery. So actually I will put this positive and I shot a little bit more closer to the negative because more closer are the positive and the negative uh, electrode more power you will get out from this cell. And for the end to make this cell even more safer, you can put on the top some wax. So 
so really nice setup so here on the top i put some wax uh, this wax will seal this uh, cell completely so no bromide gas will escape from this cell because right now this cell will be entirely sealed and also the electrolyte is soaked into the sand to make everything safe as possible really nice and now I will charge this one to see uh, if I can get some power out from this cell okay and that's it after 10 minutes of charging let's see what will be the voltage one point nine volts Very nice. And this is the discharging of this cell after one hour. And still I have 1.2 volts and the discharging current is 85 uh, milliamps, which is really awesome. And yeah, this is after one hour. So guys, this was some uh, zinc bromide battery in this setup with the scent and on the top I have some wax for the better sealing. Uh, this way I don't get any bromide fumes out from this cell. But you can also see some forming of bromide in the scent here and over here but i was not able to smell some bromide uh, because of this wax on the top so that's it for now and we see us in the next video Bye.